Hi everyone, this is Dr. Pasnode Suman, consultant pediatrician. This video is regarding one of the important optional vaccine for children, that is chickenpox vaccine. Coming to the first query by any parent, why should my child receive this chickenpox vaccine, also called as varicella vaccine? Because chickenpox is a highly contagious disease which in the absence of vaccination is likely to affect almost all persons. Coming to the risk factors, chickenpox is most commonly seen during the late winter and early summer and also in children below 10 years of age and if you have not had chickenpox nor received the vaccine. Generally, chickenpox is mild and does not require any treatment, but it may be of a serious nature in newborns, very young infants, pregnant women and people with decreased immunity and rarely hospitalization may be required. When it occurs in pregnancy, it is called as congenital varicella syndrome and this leads to serious developmental abnormalities in the newborn baby. Children with chickenpox usually present with rashes, some of which appear as red dots, some as red bumps, some with clear fluid and some with scabs. The illness may last for 5 to 10 days. Rarely, it may be complicated by skin infections, pneumonia and inflammation of various parts of brain and spinal cord. Later in life, some people may develop a different kind of rash called as herpes zoster following chickenpox. Coming to the vaccine, this can prevent chickenpox and also reduce the chances of developing herpes zoster in future. This vaccine can also reduce the chances of developing chickenpox if given within 72 hours of exposure with a case of chickenpox. So, what are the chickenpox vaccines available and what is the right time for the child to have this vaccine? Many brands of the vaccine are available and they may vary in the quantity of the weakened virus. But generally, all the brands are equipotent. Children need two doses of this vaccine for adequate protection. The dosage schedule is as follows. Dose 1 should be given at the age of 15 months and the dose second should be repeated after 3 to 6 months after the first dose. For those above 12 years, two doses are administered at an interval of not less than 4 weeks. It is advisable that all persons should have two doses of this vaccine. Despite giving full schedule of the vaccine, chickenpox may occur in 1% of the children but the disease is generally very mild. Coming to the safety of this vaccine, this is a very safe vaccine. Pain, redness or swelling may occur in very occasional cases. A rash can happen up to one month after the injection. It may last for several days but will disappear on its own without any treatment. If this happens, the varicella vaccine virus could spread to an unprotected person. Anyone who gets a rash should stay away from the people with a weakened immune system and infants until the rash goes away. Coming to the question of who should receive this vaccine, all infants and children who have not had documented varicella infection should receive this vaccine. Coming to the question of who should not receive this chickenpox vaccine, any children with severe allergic reaction after a previous dose of varicella vaccine or any known allergy to any vaccine component or during pregnancy and who has a parent, brother or sister with a history of hereditary or congenital problems with their immunity or who is on medication such as aspirin. Vaccination should be postponed in those who have recently had a blood transfusion or received other blood products and in those who received certain other vaccines in the past 4 weeks. This is all about the chicken pox vaccine and if you have any further queries, please do ask us in the comment section. And thanks for watching.